everybody. It's Tuesday. Hi, you look so cute today. Thank you. I love so your dress. You. Thank you. I like it too. I know. I, I, every time you bring a new dress home, I'm like, I wish I had one too. I know. There's <laughs> um, my favorite little shop in Lincoln. Yeah. I'm glad you were to able to, to get it. it I know. Right before they locked down. You must have just like scooted over there, right? Well, they locked down on like a few days into my trip. So there was that weekend that I landed and um, yeah, so I went in and, cause Mike had to go pick up, um, pick up some insoles. Oh, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> another bear <laughs> that he had made. So, uh, and that was, that was successful. So we were there and I got to go to that little shop. It's called, what is it called? Pretty little, pretty little. Well, it's true. A I nice think. little boutique. Yeah. I feel like maybe I've gotten a couple things from yeah. there too. Yeah. So that was fun. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah. So this brand is like organically produced mm -hmm. cotton. And so that was, that's kind of nice too. Um, yeah. And there's a different little, there's a yep. different look, I think, to some well, of these UK designs. I like it. I like it too. I like it. Um, something that's, um, I haven't actually told you this. This doesn't have anything to do with shopping. But um, I kind of reconnected with an old friend of mine that I met in Albuquerque, who sort of was one of the people that got me knitting. Oh. Um, she she is an, an artist. That's how I met her. Was okay. We worked together at the Tamarind Institute of Lithography in mm -hmm. Albuquerque. And then after that, she went on to teach at Rutgers. Oh. And then now is at Boston University. And I just, um, I is she an of, art person? She is. She okay. uh, is, She's a printmaker. Oh, so she cool. does lithography, which mm -hmm. is what we were doing at. at and the she Tamarind was a knitter. Center. And she was a and knitter. And I've never heard about her. Yeah, her name is Lynn Allen. Okay. And it was just a, so it was it was that first year that Jim and I got married, mm -hmm. and we moved to Albuquerque, and it was a new thing, and we had a wonderful Christmas at their house, and oh we took gosh. a long walk in Old Town while it was actually snowing, and. It was, it was like some of those, you know, me memories that you have when you first got married that will never be the same right. because you didn't have any, you know, other responsibilities. You could just kind of do what you wanted. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I, they, uh, she helped uh, me kind of spur on my whole knitting thing. And, and actually we reconnected. So I've gotten a couple emails back from her and she's been talking, we've both been talking about what we're knitting. And mm -hmm. so that's been really fun. Oh, cool. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. I've never heard about her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, today we have um, some things to chat about. What are you pointing? Oh. The box. <laughs> she, Ashley's directing. Okay. Literally. Hi. Good morning, everyone. Not <laughs> I'm back. Our producer's back. She's back. back. <laughs> Our random streams of thought. Yes. <laughs> so the first thing we want to chat about is our subscription box that's going to start in 2021. Yep. We're calling it the On the Rocks box, mostly because it rhymes and it goes with our theme. theme. It's not necessarily, you're yeah. not going to get anything alcohol in yeah. like actual, al there might be alcohol related as far as puns and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah, Facebook. We We're not be, selling alcohol, yeah. no, Facebook. We are well, not selling alcohol. We might put in a cute, a, not cute, a recipe though for a could. cocktail. A holiday we might drink, a cocktail that you could totally make non-alcoholic because mm -hmm. we do that with cocktails. Um, because we. But anyway, that's the, so we've got this. We we got our little logo. We got some. We ordered some boxes. Anyway, so, and then, I mean, this is a present for yourself. Okay. Or it's a present that someone can give to you. And so every month, every other month, you're going to receive in your mailbox or by your front door, however it comes, via USPS, this box. So it's a present for yourself. It is it is going to be a surprise. We're not going to, yeah. And then, um, and you're going to have two months to knit whatever is in there. So it's not going to be a giant sweater or a giant blanket. It's going to be something little. Okay, so imagine you get your mail, you open your box, and here you go. Okay. All so right. cute. This is a mock-up. Yep, so it's not exactly like yours is not so, going to maybe ooh, look but this open like it this. up. When is it a present for me? me. <gasps> wow. wow. What? Some beautiful yarn. 
So we've got something here. Yeah, these fun little stickers of our little olive. She's having a martini. Um, this is just an example, yeah, guys. Yeah, so there probably will be something fun, like a like a stitch marker set, or we'll show you something else that might be in there. And your, then in your in project, case, you've got, so there will be a pattern too, and then yarn to go with it. We're not going to send you needles. Um, we're not going to send you, what else? The, like, no, the, the notion. The, the, the tools. Yeah, 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 we're like not gonna send you're going to get the yarn, and you're going to get the pattern, and then you'll get something beautiful, fun, um, and it'll be different every month. So, it, right. Yeah. So, we've got um, different, um, different options for you to choose from for your three-month subscription, and it's every other month. Um, and probably, I mean, we are still working this out, but probably every box, no matter which description you choose, is going to get the same kind of extra thing. But then within those, there's going to be different projects, depending on which actual subscription you yeah, choose. Yeah, which barista which you barista. end up choosing. So, How do I choose my barista? Well, what do I do? Well, the first thing you go to the website and you click on the picture for the yarn bar or for the on the rocks, and then it'll get to a page and you'll be talking about your yarn baristas. So the way we've done it is the gals in the shop that work here, they are your yarn baristas. And each one of those uh, knitters have their own style, their own preferences. And so we have made each box like an Ashley box, a Sue box, a Linda box, a Sarah box, a Meredith box, mm -hmm. and a Becky box. So there's a description for each one of them, mm -hmm. and it describes your knitting style, what they're most likely going to put in your box. And they're, I think if you read the descriptions, you can pretty much tell which way they're going to go. Mm -hmm. For instance, right now, Becky is really into those babies, and so uh, she does have a little grandson. And so she is going to be picking three little baby <coughs> child it's, projects. Yeah, it's safe to assume that you're going to get three different baby or kid-oriented projects. Now, I guess you could be knitting a baby sweater. We've just said you're not going to get a sweater project. But you could get a sweater project for a baby. Because that's a really Becky only a couple, choice. Yes. Yeah, right. Um, so, and then it's also safe to assume with my, if you choose a sue box, that you're going to get... Um, three different projects specifically geared for your house to make your house cozy in whatever way I'm feeling like for that particular month. Um, and Sarah also is going to be very specifically socks. So if you are a sock knitter, um, you know, and you love to knit socks or you're going to give this to someone who loves to knit socks, then Sarah would be your go-to for that. And then, um, and if you pick me, you might get some fun techniques some interesting shapes because I always like to work a little bit not in the box I like to be out of the box for your on the rocks box and maybe the color choices might be a little bit different than what you might normally pick and then Ashley I I think for this round of the subscription I'm gonna go with hats and probably hats with more than one color so a tiny bit of color work. Mm -hmm. I do like an interesting technique. Uh, colors are up in the air, so I don't have a specific color scheme. So that would be a surprise probably every, mm -hmm. every box. Yeah. But I really like fun, quick mm -hmm. hats. Hats are awesome. And Meredith's gonna be gearing her, her projects pretty much more towards like a, you know, if you, if you learn to knit within the past year or so and aren't super confident, then, then Meredith's going to be your, your gal for, um, those kinds of projects for those mm -hmm. mystery projects that are going to be, you know, I mean, or if you just want to know oh. that you've got a super, you know, comfort knit project coming your way, then that would be probably a Meredith box. And then if you really want to surprise yourself with oh, a surprise, yeah. You can choose surprise me. So that could be any one of us uh, choosing a project for you. So um, that I think will be mm -hmm. really fun. I mean, a surprise, it's like a double surprise. Right? Mm -hmm. I don't know who picked right. it, but yeah. you don't know what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So 
Yeah, it's uh, we're excited about it. It's we're trying it for the first time this year, and we we do plan to continue into the second half of the year. But that would be another separate sign up. Um, and you know, there might be some things that we have discovered we need to tweak or something after these first three times, but. And the box itself will be 160, or the boxes, the three, the, the total price is 160, and that does include shipping. So we're yeah. throwing that in. So. Um, and what's the deadline? The deadline is December 31st. Okay. So pre-orders will stop then, and then we'll open them back up again in probably May, May I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah. So we're pretty excited about it. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's, it is fun, fun to open a box that you, sometimes you just don't know what it, day it's going to arrive. Mm -hmm. I know. And there it is on your porch. Mm -hmm. And. Exciting. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it'll and be fun. And who doesn't like to, I mean, everybody's probably getting more mail than usual. <laughs> well, it's kind of gone away. With, yeah. <laughs> now that we don't get election mail. But, right, um, yeah. <laughs> But this will be fun. It's a treat for yourself or it's a treat for someone you love and pass it along to those Santas in your life who might be looking for a gift. It's the mm -hmm. gift that gift keeps on giving. Mm -hmm. And you can, if you're wanting to hint at someone, this is what I want for Christmas. This is one of the things I want for Christmas. You can go ahead and tell them, get me an On the Rocks box. I want the Sue box or I want the Linda box. And it will still be a surprise. You can <laughs> you can say two things and the person is still getting you something that you didn't yeah. actually pick out right. specifically. Mm -hmm. But you can go ahead and pick your barista matching style. Well, we mm -hmm. did have a call earlier this week with someone letting us know that someone would be calling to... Mm to uh to be santa and so she gave us her oh, who list. she wanted oh you so um yeah and then gave her like parameters like i don't like this color or whatever yeah and but, we have that option on the website too mm -hmm. so in the notes or is it right. called it's, the notes it's, section it's in, yeah it is in the notes section but it's in the shopping cart section so a lot of times when you are ordering something a lot of times you'll go right to checkout um, don't do that. Go and click the little shopping cart icon because that's where you're going to find your note section. Mm -hmm. And you can tell us things like, please do not send me anything hot pink. Right. <laughs> and we will take that into account. Mm -hmm. Right. We will not do that. And then mine, since, I don't know, I guess I'm, I'm not being as mystery oriented as some, but since I've said very publicly, it's going to be house first things. I'm going to be emailing unless I get inundated with um with subscription people i'm going to be emailing just to say you know i don't know maybe a color scheme for me to work with for you specifically um because it's gonna yeah, be because not stuff. everyone might not want hot pink pillows in their living room yeah i don't really <laughs> want them in my living room but i could probably pop one somewhere else <laughs> pretty easily so anyway but yeah again i mean you can say that in the notes too so but yes, it's um yeah we're we're excited. I it's gonna be it's fun. Fun, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's on the rocks box. Go to the website, yeah. order. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And we will talk about it again. I'm sure. Yes, we will. What else? We have um. We're busy. Okay. Let's do stitch markers. Okay. Last, I guess. Uh, okay. You okay. Too? All right. Yeah. So, but uh, you've kind of been guys. getting all the scoop on um on these guys. So I'm Carlos. Oh, I should probably get. I don't know if you can get it, but I have the other book that their their first book, which is kind of fun to look oh, at. Oh yeah, the because old, yeah. this is their tenth anniversary book, but I have their original. Book. I do too. So right. Literally, those mm -hmm. people look like babies. I know. It's I mean, I and they still had gray hair. Like mm -hmm. Carlos still had gray hair, but he looked like a baby. <laughs> I think they're both actually quite proud of their hair. I must yeah, say. I would say. <clears throat> I would say. I feel like they are. I feel uh -huh. like. They own uh, their Carlos hair. spends yeah. a lot of time on his hair. <laughs> he has great like hair. I know. Mm -hmm. And we've spent a day with him looking hair. at that mm -hmm. hair. I know. I know. And then I feel like Arne, he likes his curls. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I think, but he's kind of a no fuss must kind of guy, which I think you can kind of tell. <laughs> well, and so while I was, so, you know, we've all got like these YouTube channels mm -hmm. that everyone is doing and has done for a while. Um, I've never had taken the time to really follow 
anyone specifically religiously on these channels, but I kind of am well, they kind kind of of getting funny. obsessed with these They guys. are. They're so funny. They're like <clears throat> the Martha Stewarts of, of Norway. Norway. Mm -hmm. That's what's been described to us. And yeah. we, I mean, we do have a little bit of a connection to them because they've been to Montana and we spent like an evening with a, a wonderful meal with them. They said they added um, the rhinestones to their, their balls for... <laughs> Yeah, and they love that. I mean, they've for, got a great sense of For humor. their uh, 10th anniversary version. Right. Well, so Aww. here's the deal with them. So they've started, it, during when they first went into lockdown in Norway, um, they started sit and knit, um, or they were doing this mystery kind of blanket thing, a block a week or something. Plus, they have their YouTube channel that weekly discusses a different technique. Um, but then in se September, so they took a break from their kind of weekly stuff. They both got COVID. I, Carlos was really yeah. sick. He's still recovering. Um, anyway, they took some time off in the summer and then they started in September doing sit and knit. They're still doing their weekly YouTube techniques. But and then yeah, they're doing sit and tutorial. knit, which is more just sit and chit chat about random things. And then, and so I've been catching up on that and they have this, they keep pushing their YouTube channel. Um, I, I think it's a revenue source for them and stuff like that. But, but for their 10 year anniversary of the balls, Christmas balls, which is their best selling book, they're doing, um, 24 new ball patterns for Advent for the month of, um, December. And if you are subscribing to their weekly emails, you, you can already get those patterns. Um, but, but on November 22nd, they're going to be released. And so... And to kind of start an advent. Right. Like and a knit along with their balls. In December, they're going to do a daily sit and knit um, and talk about all their balls. <laughs> Every day, they're going to be talking about their balls. Their so, woolly balls. Their, their woolly balls. Um, but you'll also get snippets of... Actually, I'm learning. Like, I've like, learned some fun things about oh. Norway. Oh, from and they're, them, like just they're in the folk, short they're talking time. about their folk costumes. They're making folk costumes. And what a beautiful costume. Oh, I've Very seen the vest. Oh, my they're gosh. They're fantastic. <gasps> they're like... And I, I got this beautiful tutorial on actually the process of knitting, or not knitting, of ironing linen. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see that. So, that Carla, wow. we're talking about you have to soak it, like, overnight, and oh. then, like, real, like, linen yes. clothes. And stuff. Linen, he, because his shirt that he made for his costume is 100% oh. linen. Uh -huh. And so it has to be soaked and then pressed and then possibly s dampened again. I don't know. It's a huh. big process. Wow. I did not know anything about well, that. Well, I do feel like the, the costumes that they're making, they're making them in the very traditional ways. And so they're really specific about how everything, the fabrics, the mm -hmm. the prints, the patterns, the way they're sewing, they're all pretty specific. Well, and I do think I do think authentic. European countries are um, are are really tuned into their folk costumes, their traditional costumes. Um, so I, that's pretty amazing. Yeah, they said though, if you were to buy. A costume like a traditional Norwegian costume it would cost thousands of dollars and but it would have been handmade in Norway mm. so they're you know avoiding that that expense although I think it's already Co about a thousand dollars in materials plus their time well anyway so you'll learn that kind of stuff from them we are excited because so excited that we've put together three um, three different kit options using um, with our phenol garn so you could get um, a kit including the stuffing to get going and make yeah, you'll get actually three colors even most of the balls are two so you'll have kind of a neutral of white uh, we didn't pull the color sorry but it's a uh, white red and a green and some of them are pretty traditional white red green more once more of a cab and so more warm heathers and then the other one's more more modern mm -hmm. so you might see chartreuse and a pink and a white so a, f a few different of course we offer rama phenol garn on our website and we have i don't know 90, 90 colors, colors on there and i just was on there this morning kind of fine-tuning mm -hmm. the product so it'll be a little bit easier for everyone to shop on there so uh you can pick whatever you want. And if you buy 10 on the website, um, I think you actually get a 
Oh, a, yeah, a there's a discount code when you buy 10, mm. at least 10 skeins mm -hmm. of the Rama Phenol Garn. Yeah, you're so, savvy shoppers. I would say that is probably, right now anyway, it's been our best seller. So the kit comes yeah. with how many colors? Three, three colors. Three colors. Mm -hmm. The wool to the stuff it. Please don't yeah. stuff it with polyfill. No, do no. not. And do they not. even say that to you. Yeah. They told us that yeah. years yeah. ago, it's yes. Very. Interesting. And so Phenol Garn was their original yarn in their in the original book. That's what you'll see That's in the yarn that they've used. For their new patterns, they're choosing um, they're, the ones they're doing now because they're connected with Rowan. They're using uh, Rowan Alpaca DK. Yeah. Um, in there. But anyway, you could use felted tweed too, I think, with nice mm -hmm. results for mm -hmm. these. Um, so, but yeah, so we've, we're going with the Phenol Garn. Um, so that is. And fun. how do people get the patterns again? The new patterns? You go directly to, to their to website their, and okay. sign up for their newsletter is the best way to do it. Well, if you want them now. If you right. wanted to get going. But they're going to officially release them on the 22nd, and then you can get, anyone can get them on their website. Um, and then you'll be, you know, staying in touch with Arnie and Carlos. I do yeah, I do really like them. They're, they're really worth, they're worth fun hanging out with. Really. I reminded my daughters this past week about our dinner with Arnie and Carlos, right. because we saw them on the television one night. Right. Oh, yeah. And I said, girls, do you remember did them? You see them? My <laughs> oldest okay. daughter did remember. Uh -huh. she, she remembered that dinner because they sat right next to Arnie and Carlos. And those guys were so sweet to Kate and Riley and talked with them, you know, just talked to their level. This was years ago. But um, now That's they, true. I reminded them of what they do, where we went with them, had dinner, and it was just... I don't know. Christmas makes me just think of Arnie and Carlos. I know. They're like mm -hmm. little Christmas elves. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty they fun. need little hats. They have, and they have two. So they have a, a black poodle. I can't remember her name. They're, and then and they're, they're Hel there's Helmer. Helmer, their dog sitting, a standard poodle. So it's pretty funny to hear them talk every week about those two dogs. Oh, because fun. I think her name is Freya. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, Freya. Yeah. She's pretty <laughs> ornery. Mm. But she's the little, she's like the boss, and so Helmer came to them as a house guest, and he's been there about two months so far. And Helmer doesn't ever bark, but Freya, who does bark at Moose, ha has taught Helmer how to be obnoxious and bark. So <laughs> I always talk about it. But I know Ashley has some cubs. Big dog and the little dog. Yes, the she little dog taught dog, my big dog, dog to bark. Them. Yes, that's true. So that's funny. And then, oh, these are all perched on this cute little mini oh, yeah. tree skirt that yeah, Julia I just, just made. made it. So it's it is it is split right here. So for your tree, tree, yeah, yeah. So this is two skeins of loopy mango, yeah, merino number, number five. five. So you, but you could use any super bulky with this, and this is a church mouse pattern called the loopy tree skirt. That's so cute. <laughs> it is but very it took cute. Me literally two nights to do. Thanks, darling. This is one of those things. Actually, this would be a melding project for you and me for uh -huh. on rocks because it's for your home, mm -hmm. but it's an interesting knit because it's knit this way. So it's all short rows. You knit it in wedges mm -hmm. and then you get to do this fun little Well, are you saying that knits for your home are not ever going to be interesting or creative? No, I didn't okay. say that at all. <laughs> <laughs> I would say this would okay. be a good check. Knit. Check and um, no. All right. That. Okay. For us. Um, and then we have some fun stitch markers. So Katrinkles did our winter in Montana ones. And these are They're so pretty to <clears throat> the yarn bar. They're exclusively designed by us. Mm -hmm. So um, nobody else see. has these Not really. little yeah, pictures or anything. They're all they're specific to the yarn bar. Well, we'll tell you what's on them. First yeah. of all, they're really sparkly because she did like a little mirror thing yeah. on here. Okay, so I've got a sweater. What do you have? And then I have a sweater. Well, <laughs> and then there's the a coffee cup cozy. Uh huh. And then the snowflake. Okay, hang on, my turn. Okay. Um, so hiking boot, um, hiking footprints, like with our um, Jim designed the little um, the, the knit stitch. Knit stitch is like the sole of your foot. I'm really not saying that clearly, but whatever. But that's on the cozy too. The same right. knit okay. stitch is on our And cozy. then what? Then the cabin. Well, that's you know, nice. You can imagine being mm -hmm. in the cabin all cozy in the winter. And then snowy mountains. Yep. So winter in Montana. And I think this would be pretty on your necklace, too. Oh, I know. I need to redo that. Like charms, too. Mm -hmm. And then this is um, Katie's November stitch marker set of the month, which we stock a few of. 
Um, so that's her sweater set. And there's, of course, you know, teeny little sweaters. And then the pink one says sweater weather. I don't know. Probably can't see. But oh, that's cute. cute. Those are, these are collectible. Yeah, guys. yeah those are the November stitch mark. Yeah, yeah November, November stitch markers mm -hmm. of the month. Right. So we always get the stitch markers of the month. And then these are our own that we'll have for the season. Mm -hmm. And uh, and it's nice because they're just not holiday. They'll go into, you know, for us, you know, You April. need sparkle. <laughs> yeah, you need sparkle um, on your needles up through, I'd say, yeah. probably March. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. April, if you're being yeah. real. And speaking of sparkle, <clears throat> these are made locally. I don't, you probably can't oh, see. It's kind of hard to see, but see? they are handmade oh. stitch markers yes, uh, so by a lo our local Lindsay. friend, Lindsay, and her company is Prairie Sky Fibers, and mm -hmm. I don't know what fibers she does, but her stitch markers are really nice. They're just beautiful. And we have a really big variety, so. Lots so of right holiday. Now, holiday themed mm -hmm. ones are super yeah, cute. And some fall related. We have a few, very few Montana ones. She yeah, um, they have a little sterling those are silver state of Montana. State of Montana um, charm that like she found someone locally who's making those. Oh, she did. I didn't know that. Yeah, okay, we don't cool. have very many of those. Yeah, we don't. There's um. Yeah, and it's nice. It's just nice because they're local. That'd be a great um, thing to tuck in. I know a lot of people are starting to do little exchanges again this time of year. It seems like that. Yeah, happens. that would be really fun. To That's do. a nice local. Oh yeah, knitting happen. friends could do stitch yeah. marker yeah. exchanges. Yeah, yeah. like and ornament not, you know, exchanges. They're nicely priced, so you don't have to worry about spinning the arm and the leg. It's nice to just pop it in the present. This is cute. Or a like as boy. like the card. I mean, the, her cards are kind of cute. You could actually put to and from right on here on oh, the package. She does a beautiful job. They're really yeah. nicely done. And she's a great knitter too. So. She is. She loves sweaters. Mm -hmm. she, yeah. She knits a lot of sweaters. Okay. And she's All right. So I think um, we should I'm, go. I'm kind of excited. Open up. Everything is awesome. Yeah. Everything <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fun. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's it. Thanks so for watching. We'll see, you see you next time. week. Bye. Bye.